O oh, wide ruling Agamemnon, there is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction, and that is war. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Fear not, noble cousins. I stand with you. This is a grave insult to Golden Mycenae. Enlist the other Achaean kings. The folly of Paris may convince them to support the forging of a great Achaean empire. Troy thinks to slight me, but they will pay the price. Your brother Menelaus will be relying on your full support in this great endeavor. Paris of Troy must pay! Secure your power at home before embarking on overseas initiatives. The warriors of Tiryns wage war on your allies and vassals of Troyzen. They dare to challenge your fame and power. Continue your expansion while ensuring the Trojans pay for their insult to you and your brother. Creative Assembly welcomes us back to the Bronze Age, an era documented and fantasized about by many, but rarely explored in the world of game development. Troy is the latest installment in Total War's Saga line, which explores more refined points of history. Taking a more mythical approach to the obscure time period, we see ancient Greece brought back to life with Homeric figures such as Achilles, Ajax, Odysseus, the list goes on. This is the earliest point in history that my Steam library dates back to, some would say the founding of human civilization. This is where we will be starting our journey. King At the center of all of the chaos lies the city of Mycenae, home of the great King Agamemnon. As the advisor has just finished explaining, he has joined his brother Menelaus in a war of revenge against the Eastern Greeks. Paris of Troy, son of Priam and the favourite of the goddess Aphrodite incited the feud as he allegedly stole the Spartan king's wife. While Menelaus sought to sail for Troy to take her back, Agamemnon's motives lied in a much deeper, even more selfish place. He had hated the Trojans for a long time, and this was the opportunity he had needed to finally take the fight to them, in the hope that one day he might paint a bloody swath across the Mediterranean in a glorious conquest. But before Agamemnon can cast his gaze across the pond, he must first settle the issues at home. The start of our campaign sees us already set out to fight the Tyrans, who had seemingly grown tired of our rule, taking to Mycenae lands to raid and pillage. I would be lying if I said this was the first time I had played the first few turns of the campaign. I did this to figure out how the new systems worked, etc. So I knew that my best chances here would be to take on the trespassing Tyran army Never right off the bat, beaten. therefore not allowing it to escape back into the safety of allies. This was also Agamemnon's preferred strategy. No weakness, only smash. The first battle of our campaign sees our army's spears and shields glittering under the hot Grecian sun. The skirmishers report led Agamemnon to this rocky valley that supposedly concealed the enemy force. Fortunately for us, it would seem that they weren't entirely expecting our attack and had taken a rather lazy formation, revealing one of their units to us. Having played this battle map a couple of times before, I knew that the best strategy would be to take my more expendable units and perform a flanking attack to form a pincer. The rocky bluffs and surrounding forests provided a good route for my secondary force to support the main one, which would advance straight down the middle of the valley. Instead of talking over the battle, I'll leave the footage to play out the results.
Heart. Having defeated the raider of Captain Pleisthenes, Agamemnon, oh God, take two, Pleisthenes. Having defeated the raider Captain Pleisthenes, Agamemnon's forces crushed the remaining units and chased down the fleeing troops. The first fight of many won. The post battle system works the same as other Total War titles, however you might have noticed the different resources that are located at the top of my screen. Food, lumber, stone, bronze and gold flesh out the possibilities for campaign strategy, imploring the use of different settlement types and creating a wider focus on the admin side of the game. I am a huge fan of this. I personally think the other Total War titles need more work put into their campaigns to make the context behind the battles that much more important and, as you can see here, Troy does this. I do, however, understand that the game is set much, much earlier in the history of human civilization, and that these resources are divided up into their own categories to represent the necessity for material growth over monetary wealth that would likely have been the case back in the day. Without wanting to ramble too much about the new systems, I'll quickly mention another important tab. Crap. <laughs> One sec. That's what it's called! The Divine Will tab, which allows you to utilize the ancient Greek pantheon of gods for whatever your leader desires, campaign or in battle boosts. This is another signifier of the fictional direction that Creative Assembly are taking, which won't be for everyone, but I for one think that it's a nice addition, again making the campaign more fun and integral to the game. Other than that, it's a Total War game. There's a research tab under a different name, Victory and the diplomacy works very similarly, with a few new welcome tweaks and additions. And finally, the gorgeous art style that rounds the package up nicely. I just want to take a moment to say hello to the new subscribers, and my neighbours who are making an awful lot of noise apparently, and thanks for the continued lovely comments and positivity that you show. I'm aware I don't upload very regularly, real life things get in the way a lot, and I only want to make these videos when I feel anything inspired so that they are the best quality possible but Troy is a game that I will definitely be playing more of and Agamemnon's story leaves a lot to be told. Subscribe if you liked this video, leave a like and comment your thoughts on Troy. Do you like the setting? What about the different art style? There will be more from me soon so stay tuned.